Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion with regard to solving H problem. And this is the part 2 of our video in this kind of topic. And this topic is for those students who need this kind of knowledge and also for those people who are preparing for the civil service examination, licensure examination for teachers, and other examination na kailangan ng age problem knowledge. So by the way guys, you can follow me in our different social media accounts like Facebook page, TikTok, and YouTube channel. So let's start with example number one. In number one, we are given the problem. Uncle John is three years younger than four times his nephew's age. Their total age is 57. Find the age of each. So dito, Medyo confusing yung first part ng ating problem, but don't worry, I will give you the way on how to do this step by step. Una natin gagawin is, we need to think, how are we going to represent their age, the age of the nephew and the age of Uncle John. Basically, uh, from our previous video, yung part 1 natin, ilalagay ko yung link sa ating description box para mapunta nyo siya kung di nyo pa siya napapanood. Sabi ko doon, I'm always representing uh, the smallest or yung pinakamababang value with the variable. Dito, if we will talk about their ages, automatic or obviously, yung age ng nephew, yung pinakamababang value. So, I will represent yung nephew's age. B equal to X kasi siya yung pinakambaba. And by that, we will use nephew's age X to represent Uncle John's age. So, lagay muna natin dito, Uncle John. Age. Sabi dito, Uncle John is 3 years younger than 4 times his nephew. So, paano ba yung solution natin dito kay Uncle John? So, ang gawin natin dito ngayon, guys, is we will, yung younger, ibig sabihin minus yun. Ito, ha? Uncle John is 3 years younger than 4 times his nephew's age. So, ang gawin natin ngayon dito, since younger yan, ang gawin natin dito is minus 3. Hindi ibig sabihin yun na, no? Mas bata si Uncle John. Ano lang siya? Uh, expression lang siya to represent Uncle, uncle's, uncle John's age. So, Uncle John is 3 years younger. Younger, ah, younger. Ibig sabihin minus 3 yan. Younger than 4 times his nephew's age. 4 times. Yung age ng nephew is X. Since meron tayong 4 times, we will represent that as 4X. So, ang total representation natin kay Uncle John's age is 4X minus 3. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung bakit 4X minus 3 yung representation natin. And after the representation, guys, punta natin to mismo second sentence. We have here in the second sentence, their total age is 57. Ibig sabihin, guys, we will add these two representations and that is equal to 57. We will create an equation. The equation natin is this one. X, X plus... 4x minus 3 is equal to 57. As you can see, this is yung, this is the age of the nephew and this is Uncle John's age. We added them and then that is equal to 57. Kasi sabi rito, their total age is equal to 57. Right after that, we will combine these terms. That is 5x and then minus 3 is equal to 57. And then we will transpose negative to, to the other side of the equation. Remember ha, when you are transposing a term, magbabago yung sign niya. From negative 3, it will become plus 3 or positive 3 sa kabilang side ng equation. So our new equation is 57, uh, sorry, 5x is equal to 57 plus 3. And to simplify this, this is 5x 
is equal to 60. And now to finally find the value of x, we will divide both sides of the equation by 5. So cancel, cancel, your x now is equal to 12. This is the value of x for this equation. And right after finding the value of x, ang gagawin naman natin is we will use this value of x to finally find the current age of the nephew and uncle John. So as you can see, yung ating yung nephew, yung age is represented by x. Ibig sabihin, this one is 12 years old. Okay? And for uncle John naman, since it is represented by 4x minus 3, we will substitute x here. So we have 4 times 12. Tandaan na, originally ito yung x natin. We replaced lang yung x as 12, kasi x is equal to 12. And then minus 3. Simplifying this, 4 times 12, that is 48, minus 3, that will give you the answer of 45. Ibig sabihin nito guys, Uncle John is 45 years old. Ganun lang ka siya kasimple guys. Ito yung mismo sagot sa tanong natin. Find the age of each. The nephew is 12 years old while Uncle John is 45 years old. And if you will check, 12 plus 47, that is equal to 50. Ah, 12 plus 45, that is equal to 57. Therefore, our answer is correct. I hope na nakuha niyo mismo solution for this problem. So let's continue with item number 2. For item number 2, sabi dito, Sarah is twice as old as Johnny. Next, 3 years ago, the sum of their ages is 39. How old are both of them now? So, ngayon, madidistinguish nyo agad na kailangan yung gumamit dito ng, ano, ng table to represent the present and the past ages. Dahil meron tayong dito 3 years ago. So, syempre, basic natin guys. We will create a table. So, first is for Sarah. Kapa tayo rito. And yung isa naman ay para kay Jimmy. Jimmy. And yung first column natin is for the name. Second column natin is for the present age. And yung third column natin is for the past age. Okay? So, to represent the present age, gagamitin natin itong sentence natin na to. Sarah is twice as old as Jimmy. So, dyan pa lang sa sentence na yan, alam natin na mas matanda si Sarah compared kay Jimmy. So, we will represent Jimmy's age sa present ha, bilang x. And as for Sarah's age, sa present, di ba, twice as old. So that is basically 2x. Now, sir, how about the third column, yung past age nila? Punta nyo to, 3 years ago. Ibig sabihin, 3 years back. So ang gagawin natin ngayon dito, we will subtract 3 sa present age ni Sarah, sa ni Jimmy. And that is 2x minus 3 for the past age of Sarah 3 years ago and as for Jimmy's age for 3 years ago that is x minus 3 okay sabi dito tuloy na natin para mapag-create ang equation 3 years ago the sum of their ages is 39 so ito ang gagamitin natin ngayon so what will happen is we will create an equation wherein we will add 2x minus 3 plus x minus 3. Ito yung kay Sarah 3 years ago. Ito yung kay Jimmy 3 years ago. And we will add them. The total is 39. So what's next? Is we will combine 2x and x. That is 3x. We will also combine negative, six, uh, negative 3 plus negative 3. And that is minus 6 or negative 6. Is equal to 39. So what will happen next? So we'll transpose negative 6 to the other side. Our new equation is 3x is equal to 39 plus 6. Combining these values, 
this is 3x is equal to 39 plus 6 that will give you the answer of 45 and to finally get the value of x divide both sides by 3 cancel uh, sorry cancel cancel your x here is equal to 15 so again we will use letter x sabi kasi rito how old are both of them now so ang tinatanong dito ay yung present age so as you can see yung age ni Jimmy is represented by x and your x is 15 ibig sabihin guys Jimmy is 15 years old while Sarah since 2x siya doubling ng age ni Jimmy Sarah is 30 years old so ganun lang siya simple guys I hope na nakuha niyo yung solution natin in this part 2 of our solving age problem and I hope na natutunan nyo siya. And if you're satisfied with our discussion, please hit the subscribe button. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.